The iPhone 5S hardware leaks reveal probable manufacturing delays, AT&T opens pre-orders for the Nokia Lumia 1020, and some leaked renders say that HP is now working on an Android smartphone, or are they? I'm Jaime Rivera, and where I come from, the abbreviation of HP means something else entirely. But this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some product releases. Can you believe this is the first time in history that a Windows phone is ready for pre-order just a couple of days after being announced? So just the case of the Nokia Lumia 1020, which is the company's new flagship with a 41 megapixel camera and the design of the Nokia Lumia 920, etc, etc. It's a beautiful phone. Everyone here at Pocket Now is waiting to get their hands on one, myself included, and it's $300 after a two-year contract. So links down below to pre-order and let us know, are you getting one? Now let's talk about the things that are not happening as we got some leaked renders today that put the internet on storm because this was an HP smartphone running Android, but we were kind of expecting for this not to happen and the company just confirmed that they're not. And the reason why is because, I mean, we've got their Android tablet that hasn't really taken off. There are actually two of you didn't know. And uh, well, we just know that they're not really succeeding with it as they haven't succeeded with the compact iPad lineup years ago, neither did they with the WebOS platform. So really HP. Um, what are you up to lately? Now let's talk about the Sony Onami. The leaks that we've been hearing for the last couple of days are pretty much being confirmed now. We are getting a Snapdragon 800. We're getting a 20 megapixel camera with an interesting sensor out there that we're still trying to confirm. But aside from that, we are also getting a waterproof design just like the Xperia Z and also a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, yeah, 3000 milliamp hour battery. That thing must be huge. So stay tuned as we're most probably getting this phone in IFA to compete with the Galaxy Note 3. That's going to be interesting. Now let's talk about the LG G2 or Optimus G2, whatever the company is going to be calling this phone. Apparently the battery is going to be 20% bigger. We're also getting three gigabytes of RAM, just like the rumors of the Galaxy Note 3, but interesting. We've also got photos of the back of the phone and a close-up now, and it turns out that the buttons at the back are actually volume rockers. But the question is, what is that button at the middle? Take a guess, leave us a comment down below. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, it turns out that we get some more leaked photos of the back plate of the iPhone along with some manufacturing details. And it turns out that apparently the company is working on some sort of fingerprint scanner to work with their display. And apparently the display is a new type of technology being made by LG. So as it turns out, uh, well, they're having problems manufacturing this new type of display. So it could be that we will be getting low capacity when the iPhone 5S gets launched. But that's not the most interesting part. Apparently the rest the rest of the phone is just the spec bump, meaning a little more RAM, a little more gigahertz on the processor, the same A6 processor. So it turns out that this is not really going to be a hotter phone, just the more capable one. So that leads me to the question of the day. Um, do you really want a spec bumped iPhone with a fingerprint scanner? Um, the fingerprint scanner thing is not new. It's been done before. Probably not perfectly. Probably Apple will figure it out. But anyways, leave us a comment down below. In my particular case, uh, I think Apple should step their game up. Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.